Chapter 4. Amplifiers. There are 51 questions in this chapter. Number 1. For what portion of a signal cycle does a Class C amplifier operate? Less than 180 degrees. Number 2. Which class of amplifier operates over a full cycle? Class A. Number 3. In the common collector amplifier, when the input and output signals are compared, the signals are in phase. Number 4. For what portion of a cycle does a class AB amplifier operate? More than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. Number 5. Which class of amplifier has the poorest linearity and the most distortion? Class C. Number 6. Which class of amplifier provides the highest efficiency? Class C. Number 7. In the common base amplifier, when the input and output signals are compared, the signals are in phase. Number 8. In the common emitter amplifier, when the input and output signals are compared, the signals are 180 degrees out of phase. Number 9. In order to provide the greatest efficiency in the output stage of a CW, RTTY, or FM transmitter, you would operate the amplifier Class C. Number 10. The FET amplifier common gate circuit is similar to which of the following bipolar transistor amplifier circuits? Common base. Number 11. For what portion of a cycle does a Class B amplifier operate? 180 degrees. Number 12. What determines the input impedance of an FET common source amplifier? The input impedance is essentially determined by the gate biasing network. Number 13. The FET amplifier common source circuit is similar to which of the following bipolar transistor and amplifier circuits? Common emitter. Number 14. The FET amplifier source follower circuit is another name for common drain circuit. Number 15. The FET amplifier common drain circuit is similar to which of the following bipolar transistor amplifier circuits? Common collector. Number 16. Which class of amplifier provides the least efficiency? Class A. Number 17. Which class of amplifier operates over less than 180 degrees of the cycle? Class C. Number 18. In the common base amplifier, the input impedance when compared to the output impedance is very low. Number 19. Which class of amplifier has the highest linearity and the least distortion? Class A. Number 20. What portion of a signal cycle does a Class A amplifier operate? The entire cycle. Number 21. What determines the output impedance of an FET common source amplifier? The output impedance is essentially determined by the drain resistor. Number 22. What are the advantages of a Darlington pair audio amplifier? High gain, high input impedance, and low output impedance. Number 23. What is an operational amplifier, or a co-amp? A high gain, direct coupled differential amplifier whose characteristics are determined by components mounted externally. Number 24. What is a non-inverting co-amp circuit? An operational amplifier circuit connected such that the input and output signals are in phase. Number 25. 
What is the output impedance of a theoretically ideal co-amp? Very low. Number 26. In a frequency multiplier circuit, an inductance, or L1, and a variable capacitor, C2, are connected in series between VCC plus and ground. The collector of a transistor is connected to a tap on L1. A fixed capacitor, C3, is connected between the VCC plus side of L1 and ground. C3 is a RF bypass capacitor. Number 27. A frequency multiplier circuit must be operated in class C. Number 28. What is the mo input impedance of a theoretically ideal co-amp? Very high. Number 29. What is an inverting co-amp circuit? An operational amplifier circuit connected such that the input and output signals are 180 degrees out of phase. Number 30. In a circuit where components are tuned to resonate at a higher frequency than applied, the circuit is most likely a frequency multiplier. Number 31. What would be the characteristics of the ideal co-amp? Infinite input impedance gain and flat frequency response. Number 32. What determines the gain of a closed loop co-amp circuit? The external feedback ne network. Number 33. In a frequency multiplier circuit, an inductance or L1, and a variable capacitor, C2, are connected in series between VCC plus and ground. The collector of a transistor is connected to the tap on L1. The purpose of the variable capacitor is to tune L1 to the desired harmonic. Number 34. In a frequency multiplier circuit, an inductance, or L1, and a variable capacitor, or C2, are connected in series between VCC plus and ground. The collector of a transistor is connected to a tap on L1. C2, in conjunction with L1, operate as a frequency multiplier. Number 35. In a frequency multiplier circuit, an inductance, L1, and a variable capacitor, C2, are connected in series between VCC plus and ground. The collector of a transistor is connected to a tap on L1. A fixed capacitor, C3, is connected between VCC plus side of L1 and ground. The purpose of C3 is to keep RF out of this power supply. Number 36. In a frequency multiplier circuit, the input signal is coupled to the base of a transistor through a capacitor. A radio frequency choke is connected between the base of the transistor and ground. The capacitor is a DC blocking capacitor. Number 37. What are the advantages of using an op amp instead of LC elements in an audio filter? Op-amps exhibit gain rather than insertion loss. Number 38. What is meant by the term op-amp offset voltage? The potential between the amplifier input terminals of the op-amp in a closed-loop condition. Number 39. What are the principal waves of op-amp RC active filter in amateur circuitry? Op amp circuits are used as audio filters for receivers. Number 40. In a grounded grid amplifier using a triode vacuum tube, the plate is connected to the Pi network through a blocking capacitor. Number 41. The purpose of using a center tap return connection on the secondary of transmitting tube's filament transformer is to 
prevent modulation of the emitted wave by the alternating current filament supply. Number 42. In a grounded grid amplifier using a triode vacuum tube, the input signal is applied to the cathode. Number 43. In a grounded grid amplifier using a triode vacuum tube, the cathode is connected to a radio frequency choke. The other end of the radio frequency choke connects to the B minus or bias. Number 44. In a grounded grid amplifier using a triode vacuum tube, the plate is connected to the radio frequency choke. The other end of the radio frequency choke connects to the B plus or high voltage. Number 45. In a grounded grid amplifier using a triode vacuum tube, the secondary winding of a transformer is connected directly to the vacuum tube. This transformer provides filament voltage. Number 46. In a grounded grid amplifier using a triode vacuum tube, each side of the filaments is connected to a capacitor whose other end is connected to ground. These are bypass capacitors. In a grounded grid amplifier using a triode vacuum tube, what would be the approximate B plus voltage required for the output of 400 watts at 400 milliamps with approximately 50% efficiency? 2000 volts. Number 48. After you've opened a VHF power amplifier to make internal tuning adjustments, what should you do before you turn the amplifier on? Be certain all amplifier shielding is fastened in place. Number 49. A power amplifier is tuned. What reading on its grid current meter indicates the best neutralization? A minimum change in grid current is the output circuit is changed. Number 50. What is the reason for neutralizing the final amplifier stage of a transmitter? to eliminate parasitic oscillations. Number 51. What term is most appropriate for a high gain direct coupled differential amplifier whose characteristics are determined by components mounted externally? Operational amplifier.